Hamilton, Sams, Walsh, Steve Mace, just some of the names. We're already looking forward to a miserable Christmas. They won't be back in the World Championships when we return on Boxing Day. Dave Askew, in his day, one of the best, but has his day gone? Yes, twice the semi-finalist, as you can see from our captioning there. But he's been in a different you, form. Askew, Diamond Day from Redhill, 43 it. years old, 25 in the rankings. 501 against winning the tournament, but he's odds on, 5-2 to two on to take this first round match. He has the first start here, start of day four. 140. Martin Birchall, quite simply, the biggest day of his darting life. He's been waiting a long, long time. 143 he is in the world. And can dart just shows how difficult it is and how nervous he must be. Yes, they call virtual Scarface, and if he's looking to do a hit job on this fella, Dave Askew, infinitely the more experienced man. 100! Yeah, right. A scar on his face. An accident when he was a teenager. He was the first to admit, though, he's not quite Al Pacino. <laughs> 43. First to three sets for a place in the second round. And this little quarter of the draw has opened up, of course. The winner will play Alan Caves after his fantastic victory over Mardle in the most dramatic match of the championship so far last night. So. For one of these two players, the opportunity for a good run in the tournament wow. and a good payday is certainly there. Well, yes, Askew made £20,000 from darts in the order of merit last year. Now then. He wants the ball, but he knows he's got time, carefully calculating the situation. David Askew with his rival resting back on 226. So he's left himself double 16, Askew, for a competent opening leg. 98. Dave so, two 16s. Double eight now for Dave Askew. 16. Well, having gone along briskly and professionally, he's left the door open for Birchall to steal this first leg on 128. Treble 20 would leave the ball. So Askew, having had three darts at a double, now needs this double eight for the first leg. Game show the first leg. Yeah, and always, always important. So it just relaxes you, no matter how much experience you have. Game at the Circus Tavern at the World Championships, get that first leg under the belt, and uh, competent just about sums up Askew's performance. One hundred. So Dave Askew, one up, playing today, supporting a very special charity for him, Matthew's friends, who work together with the Great Ormond Street Hospital and York Hill Hospital for six children in. Glasgow and that's a noble cause for David to be uh, backing here on stage at the one. circus. Well Birchall, one of the 16 qualifiers, took part in that uh, nail-biting day at Villa Park at the start of December. Had to win four matches to get here, beat the American Ray Carver 5-4 in the final to qualify. Carver, I understand, missed uh, two or three darts to win. Birchall making his debut, of course, in front of the Sky Sports cameras. Well, here is Birchall, and uh, as you say, Ray Carver is a big hitter, the American, so to gain a victory over him, it's no mean feat, and uh, Askew recently, I've just been looking at, Stuart's 
recently beaten Adrian Lewis, and that too takes a bit of doing. Yeah, but uh, Dave's had a poor year by his standards. Certainly a major TV tournament. 140! Didn't figure in the World Championships to any great extent. First round defeat last year. Same at Blackpool, same at Dublin at the World Grand Prix. And heady days, weren't they, for Askew when he reached those two semi-finals in 2000 and 2001. Lost on both occasions to Taylor. Well, he wants 180. If he gets another travel, would be useful. 100. A nervy start for the qualifier. And Askew really should take this opportunity while his opponent Holding is still shadow boxing. He could use his experience. 80 the shot for two up in the first. Big 20 for double top. And now the double. 40. Martin, you require 130. Well, this would boost the confidence. Hundred and thirty seven the shot. Treble twenty. And he should stay there, but ask you won't mind this at all. He's got three clean shots at double top for a two love lead. Double ten then. So there were three poor darts, really. And once again, the door is open for Martin Virtual to open his account here at the Circus Tavern. 80 the shot. Well, that's a waste. Well, that's completely inexplicable. What was he thinking of doing? And as we really should punish that. Double one it is then for Askew. No score. Martin, you require 60. Well, surely he'll square this the conventional way. Now he wants double top. Game shot second. Well, Dave Askew Martin has had a low of darts and a double. is hit only no, one. And Martin Birchall, who was 200 points off. behind, Showboating, going for double top, double top. Comes out, wow. winning the leg. Well, an interesting situation here early on because uh, Virtual went too high for 80 on two occasions and uh, Askew has been missing doubles as though his father Christmas giving away sweeties. 100. What a piece then in this first set. As the last day of the first round, a round which has brought a few eyebrow-raising results. 60. And you know, Dave Askew there doesn't look at all at odds with himself. I've always felt he's a contradiction to the normal trend, uh, Stuart, because he tends to be a better morning player than evening player. The longer the day goes on, it seems that, that Dave kind of finds that difficult to pace himself. So coming in here right at the top of the show, I would have thought would have suited his style. But he's still not looked at all happy or consistent, although the first leg was OK, but his doubling has been, well, not far short of... 60! He's got a lovely throwing action as well, Askew. Just signs now that Birchall is getting into the game. There's his uh, his wife, Samantha. Birchall's biggest fan. 
and he's won three and a half thousand already. I wonder how much he spent before Christmas. Virtual wins this, he's guaranteed at least five thousand, but uh, sharp shooting from Askew. Number 19 should be the shot now. I see nine. 46 nine for David Astley. Anxious six. to get his finishing up together. Double 16. And now next door, double eight. Yeah, Important dart. Bertrand was on a two dart David finish. Asky. So uh, at last he oh, finds man. a double. 13 he's shots he's, he's having. Three legs of darts at a double, Dave Askew. And Dave, you know, Askew was, uh, has got out of his sick bed to play this Bing match. Bing. He's been laid up with a virus for three days. Um, he only got out of bed this morning to play this match. He was saying that if, it, uh, if he'd been scheduled to play Monday, wow. Tuesday, he may well have struggled. He may not have been able to make it. He was that ill. He must have been he must have been ill to just throw away the opportunity of picking up three thousand five hundred pounds. One hundred well, a battle of the southerners here. Askew from Red Hill in Surrey. And virtual as he was saying, seven miles away, but uh, he wasn't seven miles away from the first maximum of the match there. Askew may just have uh, stolen the darts here from the virtual throw and to take the leg and take the first set. 100. Wonderful, colourful programme unfolding here at the circus today with a definite oriental flavor japanese champion the chinese champion who would have thought when we started here 40 Six years ago one. that one day we would be hailing and saluting and talking about players from the far east such as the wonderful growth and development of the sport 60. Possibilities. We hear of a, a big tournament, PDC tournament, going on in, in Asia, maybe in Japan next year. Yes, well, Barry Hearn, the godfather 16. of the PDC, has long Why had a desire to play a major tournament in China. Now then, chances here. Double 16 for Askew. 69. Would have won the set, but once again, his doubling leaves a little to be desired. But virtual is a long way back. Sixteen. Well, surely now, ask you. Time you require. We'll take this out and take the set. Double eight, it is. Awkward lie there for ask you. Seventeen darts already. And a double for Dave Askew, and he's hit. Just two, but he surely will be back. You just can't see Birchall the way he started this match, getting 161. Sixty-five. All right. Another Time opportunity for Askew, out. who's had an easy passage so far. He's been allowed to miss double, yes, but just missed that one. He takes the first set, not without the first round, and the bookies agree. Hot, hot favourite now, Dave Askew. He was pretty convincing, certainly with his scoring in that first set. Diamond Dave yet to sparkle on Jones. the doubles, but he's Seven done seven. enough. First leg is Martin to throw first. Game on. And the debutant from Crawley, just down the M23, only three quarters of an hour away, so virtually on home territory here, has got to get his A game into gear. 
if he did then Askew might find that himself in just a spot of bother because he's finishing just 3 out of 18 17% with that kind of figure you really shouldn't have had such a comfortable passage. Six. Virtual by comparison has a 1 out of 1% record, but of course you haven't been down at the double to make any difference to that, Stuart. That is sometimes the way the facts and figures don't reflect the true story of the play. Well, playing on the circuit throughout this Six. year, he's uh, run Barney pretty close, he's beaten the likes of Burnett and McGowan and Terry Jenkins, so on his day, a decent floor player, but uh, this is a whole new ball game at the Circus Tavern, especially when you've never played on a big stage in front of the bright lights live on Sky before. I'm pretty sure it's affected him today. Yes, it has an atmosphere 100. all of its own. Flight path of oh, virtual and uh, 140. the atmosphere and the style of the Circus Tavern acknowledged worldwide. A good friend of Dutch, Giles Smith in the Times today, saying it's all part of the Christmas season. Wouldn't be the 100. same without a trip down the A13 to this uh, colourful sporting emporium. 100. Martin, you 121 then. A rare opportunity for <laughs> Martin Birchall. And now the ball. It might just lift his game. Not too far away. Dave, you require 160. This would, this would be some finish if he could manage it, but uh, uh, got the treble with the, the third dart instead of the second. 25 for Virtual to go into the lead in the second set, double eight. So Dave Askew, you who struggled on his doubles so far, double ten. Should be a good marker for him. And it is. Chose the bottom of the bed. Virtual misses on this occasion. Askew doesn't. And an important break of throw for Askew at the start of this second set. Do you know Birchall only started playing darts again three years ago, Dave? Here he is at the Circus Tavern. Played it uh, as a kid, as a teenager. 85. And uh, gave it up, he said, when he was 17. Started playing ago again quite by accident three years ago. But this is class from Askew. His scoring has been impressive so far. Yes, he's averaging in mid 80s despite uh, the. Uh, checkout success rate which isn't over impressive nine ton pluses seven one forties from Askew that's decent enough but his finishing has been letting him down but he's still in command so he will not be arguing some days are diamonds some days are stones as the song says and at the moment it's been more sparkle than a rocky passage for Dave Askew Virtual just doesn't seem at the moment to have the impetus nor the temperament to, to raise his game up a gear, to ratchet up and uh, threaten him. 60. Yeah, Alan Kays, I'm sure, will be a, an interested spectator glued to his TV. See who will be playing in the second round. 100. Incredible to think that, that Kays has been around for ooh, three or four years as far as... Uh, major tournaments on Sky Sports and that's the first match he's ever won on TV and I, I think he was carried along by the, the, the sheer razzmatazz of a, a match against Wayne Model. it's going to be interesting how he plays should uh, Askew go through it in a different kind of atmosphere because Cave I felt very much a reactionary player chances here for Askew double 16 then for two up 69 
was uh, Dave's lady, Eileen. It just isn't happening for Birchill at the moment. Uh, he has the look of a man in a doctor's waiting room. Twenty-four scored and twenty-four attempts at a double from Askew in this match already. And Askew's going to get another opportunity. Four successful attempts at a double. Twenty-four shots. There we go. So a set to the good, two legs to the good. And, uh, it's like a lunchtime stroll in the park. Yes, had David Askew been hitting his doubles, uh, he could virtually have been home and hosed now and uh, thinking about relaxing for Christmas. Virtual jazz finding the atmosphere, the tension and, and the occasion one suspects. A little bit too much for him, and Askew, wow. his neat economical throwing style. Guy who's been to the heights, been certainly to the semi-finals of this competition. It seems a long time ago now, but his experience is showing through, and he's been gifted a comfort zone on his finishing, and he's experienced enough not to allow that kind of opportunity to slip away completely. But he'd be happier if his wow. checkout percentage was nearer 50% than 20. Well, that match against Caves, whoever it may be, it looks very much as if it will be Askew, will be on Boxing Day evening live here on Sky Sports when the 2007 World Championships resume. There's Caves in that real knockabout fun game with uh, Wayne Mardle last night always with Mardle you get entertainment but well, you've got to feel sorry for the lad That's, uh, a couple of years now he had a classic with Phil Taylor in the semi last year and came from behind and should have stolen the match last night five darts at the double oh. 60 Dave you require ask you then to take the second set Two to go for Dave Askew. Treble ten will be the target. Oh, just setting the shot up. And he's hardly had a pressure shot when he gets to the double. Virtual back on two two six. So David Askew can relax back up stage, knowing he'll be back up to have another look at double sixteen. But this time Virtual is applying pressure. First one of the match. But has the effort come too late? Yes, it has. And that's the second set for Askew. And the spark there from Virtual just too late. The will it carry for? Welcome back to the circus. And if you fancy a pre-Christmas champagne treat tomorrow night, perhaps the pick of the second round match is Colin Lloyd against Ray Barnabas. About nine o'clock. And that really will be something to relish. Yes, and also the hors d'oeuvre, if you like, before the main event, Sky Sports 1 tomorrow. Yes, it's Lloyd against Barnevelt, but it's also Chris Mason against John Part. It should be some night tomorrow as we start round two of the World Championships. Here, it's two sets to nil to the world. Number 25, Dave Askew, against the qualifier from Sussex, Martin Birchall. On back, Virtual has hit uh, one double out of four. And really has not extended uh, Askew, but then again, David Askew will be happy to have a comparatively comfortable first round wow. match. He'll take that then Alan Caves in the next round, who is a player around about his ranking in the world list. So perhaps Dave Askew will begin just to sense the sniff 
that uh, he could have a tournament which would take him as far as his semi-final successes back in 01 and 02. And also, it's a, a big, big tournament for Dave Askew as far as his position in the world of darts is concerned. And, well, is he going to get his first? No, just slides off the barrel into the treble five. But uh, for those of you who don't know, the PDC are bringing in an order of merit from January the 1st. The uh, current point system, as far as the world rankings is concerned, is being replaced by a money list. And Askew is only about 35, 36 on that money list at the moment. So he needs a good tournament. He needs to put a few bob in the back pocket to make sure he's in the, the elite, if you like, the top 32. Well, in the last year, 20,000. And the placard Picasso's evident in the crowd. Yeah, we hope that uh, if you're coming down to the darts later or tomorrow or after Christmas, that um, the darts fans will let their imaginations run riot because we haven't seen too many clever signs in the arena so far. Treble 20 for Askew. 55. Once again, you see virtual not really breathing down Askew's neck. Again, he's suddenly finding the trebles. And again, we wonder if the effort is going to be coming too late. Well, in the last leg of the second set, he hit 180, and then Askew took out the leg and took out the set. Can we do the same here? Big 20 would leave double 16 for another leg for Askew. So, 180, he's earned the chance, Birchall. Yes, that 180 has put him in this position. And now he wants double 16, and he needs it badly. Yes. Well, against the throw as well. Martin Birchall wins only his second leg of the match. But Dave, he deserved that. The maximum set up the shot, put the pressure on Askew. Askew missed. Birchall didn't. Well, it kicked his game into life. It's got to come. If he, if he is to revive, it's got to start now. And he's got to carry it forward. Spring in the step of Martin Birchall. 140. Well, Askew's uh, scoring, as we've mentioned, has been respectable enough. But he had a dart at a double to win that last leg. But to be sure, had uh, his doubles been going in, his average would be up in excess of 90. people from the charity that David Askew is supporting. So Askew needing just this set to take his place in the second round. 83. Virtual could just hit another ton, ton 40, ton 80 here with the throw to go two up. That uh, might just make his mindset that much well, more I'm positive. Going much better now. It's still not too late for him. Uh, one or two signs of a recovery for Martin Birchall. 100. Well, this to uh, to go within one leg of taking a set. Twelve twenty would have left double twelve. Come out for sixteens. Fifty six. Dave you require seventy eight. And Dave Askew would appreciate this seventy eight just to nip the revival in the bud. Double top. Fifty eight. 
28 attempts now at a double. He's hit only six. So virtual then for back-to-back -back legs in this first round match. Double 16 for the qualifier. Well, now we may have a match. Askew may have taken the first two sets, but signs now that Birchall is settling down to the job in hand. Yes, and Birchall's finishing is infinitely superior to Dave Askew's, which must be a worrying factor for him. 43% success rate for this man. Well, still to come this afternoon, the Pie Man is in action, Andy Smith against Shi Yongsheng from China. Wes Newton is the Japanese number one, Tetsuo Wada, and uh, Andy Jenkins against one of the American stars, Bill Davis, rounds off the afternoon's entertainment on day four. An afternoon with a distinct international flavour. 140! And Virtual definitely has upped his game. I think Dave, he's actually starting to believe in himself now. 41! Yes, and it was at uh, 180, the penultimate uh, shot of the first leg here. We'd left him with double, and uh, he's in a strong position to take this set. And he was against the throw in this set. 60. Yeah, effectively, the match would be back on track with Birchall throwing first in the fourth set. Bit of pressure now on Dave Askew. 41. And you could see his reaction there to three indifferent arrows. Birchall against the throw, in the lead, and kicking on. 100. Self-belief and the, we're starting to see now the, the sort of darts that Birchall produced in the qualifiers in Birmingham earlier this month. 123. And the audience shot party show. Super party spirit here, 116. This would get the party jumping in the Birchall camp. 16 for double top. disillusion from his followers that wasn't a good dart 76 well Dying tops to then the for Birchall if he gets the opportunity and he will Martin Birchall then 41. steps up to throw for the set and yes, his finishing has been a good bit uh, better than his arrival but now, double ten. And now time is getting short for him. Needs this one. Twenty. So close. Despair Thank in the virtual camp. The bull route surely for Askew. Miles away. 87 left. Treble 17 will surely be the shot. Yep, 87. You're right, Dave has to be treble 17 in the end he was nowhere near to that either 79 so virtual has had three darts to win this set and he's got three more now at that target now double five got to aim high yes. got to aim accurately got to hit the targets and he does and he's back in match jubilation in his camp can he carry that form forward that's how he won the set double five not the easiest you see his reaction he's delighted this match is very much alive well dave askew won six out of the first seven legs and well it looked like a breeze, didn't it? But all of a sudden, even though he lost that second set, Birchall, in the last leg, found his first 180. It gave him a bit of confidence going into the break. Came out of the break, hit another 180. But it's a different game altogether now. But even when he was in such command, Stuart, we'll recall we both agreed that he would still have been concerned about his finishing because he was having it all his own way only because this guy wasn't playing too well. Nice. Now he has got his game working. And uh, Dave Askew now has 
a task at the pan. Well, young and old alike at the Circus Tavern, they all love the darts. Wow, there's so many people agree this uh, tournament is as much a part of Christmas as cards, crackers, and Christmas trees. <laughs> Martin Birchall, 143 wow. in the world rankings. Yes, well, well over 100 places below Askew, but right now he's given the player from Redhill plenty to think about. still be uh, first to a double here now, there's no doubt that uh, Askew is feeling the heat now Martin you require 140 140 to continue his winning sequence got to aim high single 20 100 beautifully set up by Martin Birchall and his wife Sam Beginning to believe as well. Birchall certainly believing 60. now that he can come back from two sets Martin behind to win this. Tops it is. And now double ten, not the most impressive darts I'm sure Martin Brooks was ever thrown. Double ten for one up in the fourth. Four consecutive legs now for Martin Birchall. The worry lines beginning to appear on the face of Dave Askew. Complete reversal of fortunes. darts that ask you has, has thrown for some time but it's just one of those darting oddities isn't it you know that, that a player can be coasting and all of a sudden uh, his game goes to pieces 60. but his finishing would always have been a worry this is the point and virtual has just picked up his finishing is that much better and it's brought him right back into the game he's still averaging well short of uh, David Askew 26. you can see Askew's body language leaves uh, more questions and answers. Well, Dave Askew has lost I in the first so. round of the World Championships for the last three years, beaten by, would you believe, Keith Deller? Chris Mason, and last year he was thrashed by the Canadian well, Jerry Combrey. He won't want to make it four consecutive first round exits, but um, he's now in a match against Martin Birchall. Well, it has to be said about Keith Deller, of course, he, he did appear in possibly, arguably, the best ever world final. And whatever else about Keith, he always brought some excitement, but now, he wanted the ball there, and that was a Deller-esque kind of finish. Just missed, though. near miss at 167 Dave, Dave, give and ask you the boost that he really needs at this stage in the match double eight then still a lot of room yes that's better. better that's better and, uh, just three darts he was so close to a spectacular finish but it, it's just if the belief flooded back 
and he's got to keep that belief alive that's the finish levels it up but uh, virtual has the throw here and if either of these guys now can just dig a little deeper and, and find a purple patch to carry the post of victory but it's Askew that has the easier task he just needs two more legs well the way this match has gone easier said than done two legs away from victory and Birchall is two legs away from taking us into a deciding set well of course it's been said many times before Stuart that that ability to find an extra gear to kick to put in a sprint to put in a devastating burst is the factor which sorts out uh, the men from the mighty in this sport of course the great players Taylor can, can hit you and hit you and hit you at the start of the middle the end of a match John Part has a sprint. Ray Barnevold can really put on the pressure. And the reason that Asu isn't in that elite class is that he tends to be one paced. But he does have the opportunity now. He has to dig in the spurs and go for the winning post. Yes, and just to remind you, tomorrow night. Sky Sports 1, the second round gets underway. John Part against Chris Mason. Colin Lloyd against Raymond Van Barneveld. Yes, it's uh, one of the starriest nights of Christmas. And there'll be more than three shepherds following the stars here at the circus. Thought Chris Mason in his opening match uh, played as well as we've seen him in recent times. He's, he's always a danger. Should be a, a, a stylish clash against John Part. Well, the match between Mason and Part in the second round last year was one of the best of the whole tournament. Part winning it 4-3. And I think uh, it could be that close and that good again tomorrow night. We shall see. 195 for Askew. He'd want to wrap the match up in this set if he can. 97. Passing you require. But 100 is well within the range of this guy. No, then he wants 80. The last time he wanted 80. He seemed to slip out of gear 16. and go over the top, but he's just Time squared it off. Ask you on 98. Which way will he go? 78. 18 should be the target. Double 12 to go in front in this set. And again, his doubling has left a lot to be desired. Double top for Virtual to take the lead. Yes, no problem at all. It's been uh, the strong of the match of late, hasn't it? Askew misses. Virtual hits. Game on. Now Askew is throwing to stay in this set and if we go to a decider well anything could happen 16. and Askew having been two up and looking consummately in control would psychologically be on the back foot if that should happen well Dave Askew won six out of the first One seven legs Birchill has won five out of the next six and he's looking in a good position to take the set here and take us into a decider. Yes, it's been a performance of more grit than guile from Virtual, but it's just sheer tenacity that's got him back in this match, and you have to admire and acknowledge him for that. 45. <laughs> we see millions of them. 121. <laughs> just, there must be some code. Why does a man get a black on and say, I see darts people? Perhaps it's a bet. Forty-one. Now, slack final dart from Birchall. He was in control of this leg as well. Started off with a ton 40. 
59. Well, turn 40 here from Birchall is the prerequisite, one would think, and he's in the wrong treble. That's the right one. Another one would be welcome. 76. And that's the wrong one. One forty or one eighty would be very helpful. One hundred and forty. A possible two dart finish for Dave Askew. Is he going to stay up? One hundred. Perhaps the note would have been Dying better. Nevertheless, here's Askew again with another chance to square the set. Double ten, big finish here. Still just can't clip them home to cement the victory. This, and he knows that could be costly. 99 here would take Virtual into a deciding set. 34 darts. Askew's had at a double. He's hit only seven. Well, maybe the treble 13. 43. So Askew gets... A shot at double five. Three more darts. That's one of them. That's the second one, and that's all square now. And now David Askew is just one leg away from a second round place against Alan Caves and five thousand pound in his Christmas stocking. Every picture tells a story. It meant a lot to him that now. Now. Askew has got to dig into the experience and match that score. He won't want this match to go into a deciding set. And this is where experience should tell. 60. Oh, dragged all those darts. Dragged them badly as well. Pulled down below the treble. And indeed, it's the more inexperienced big-time campaign of virtual that's showing the resolve and backbone in this deciding leg of the fourth set. Well, Askew has produced six dreadful darts. That's really all you can say. It's such an important leg when you would have thought he'd really have got himself fired up to go for it. To win the match right here and right now. Now it looks very much as if we are heading for a deciding set. Well, we were looking for Askew to turn in the leg, and his this performance in this leg has been a bit like yesterday's mince pie, a bit stale. Treble 15 for Tops would set him up beautifully. And confidently for a deciding set. 100. Um, nine awful darts so far from Askew. You've got to fancy Birchall from here. Well, this is awful. I see one. Martin Should be 13 or 5 for the first start. Birchall's uh, decision we'll see in just a moment. Double 16 to go into a fifth set. No double eight. Crack the wire. That's the target. That's the target. All square. We go into the decider. And Bertrand's courage and tenacity have carried him this far. You must applaud him for that. Hello, gentlemen. And the final set. First leg. It's time to both first. Martin Bertrand has pulled his way back into this first round match. And we... Well, at the start of the game, we ran through 60. all the, the big names, the so-called seeds, the likes of Mardle and Baxter and Warriner, Anderson, Walsh, Sams, is Askew going to be added to that list? 45. <laughs> Who needs to go to Hawaii? The temperature in the circus tavern is typically tropical. 
Which way is the pendulum going to swing? Dave Askew. 85. A veteran of this stage. Well, the qualifier, Martin Birchall, making his debut in the World Championship. Well, it has to be said that Alan Cave, such a trophy character, and uh, Victor over Wayne Mardell will be watching this. I'm sure he is. Good day to you, Alan. Well done. And I don't imagine he'll be losing much Christmas sleep if either of these players play in this way. Askew's been disappointing because his experience. Birchall is still a rather an unknown quantity Holy. because he may well have another game. He may just be using this one. It, the experience might just lift his game next time round, should he prevail. One hundred and forty. Much better from Dave Askew. His average has been hovering around the 80 mark most of the match. Good adjustment there from Birchall. Very, very good. Dave, you require 141. Treble 19, double 12 for 141, and that's the best finish we've seen from either player, and it might just be the catalyst to lift Askew and carry him past the winning post. There is the end sequence start, 141, and that was the high point of this match so far. Well, it's quite amazing, isn't it? That Askew has missed so many darts at a double, and then produces something spectacular I'm lucky for Birchall suddenly there seems to be 100. a new resolve about David Asker he's such an infuriating character because he, he has got the talent just doesn't seem to be able to wind it all up and put it together we saw with that 1-4-1 as clean a finish as we've seen in the tournament just need to do it more often. 140. Now, uh, just to remind you, if we do get to two legs apiece, we go into a tie break, and uh, you have to win by two clear legs. You see, this is beyond explanation. How David Askew can hit three great darts for 141, and then hit. Uh, two darts in that last sequence which quite frankly let virtual right back in here last you knows that uh, this match should have been Six over half an hour ago he's paying the price for some sloppy darts it remains to be seen whether he pays the ultimate price in this first round match 177. Well, that indeed is important for Virgil. He's in double two to level up the fifth set. 13 data as well, possibly, on the cards for Virgil. His best leg of the match. That's yes, his high point. This could be of the match. No. And the double ones. Uh, yeah, it held no fear seven. for him. All square. And it would now be a brave punter after we watch the double one hit home, who would bet with any real confidence on the outcome here, Stuart. Yes, it's picking up now. Both players realise just how important it is. And it was interesting, it was a terrific dart into the double one. Uh, the graveyard for so many players, they just don't like it. 100. Alan Caves, last night against Mardell, set himself up for that shot a couple of times. He doesn't like double two, he prefers to go for the one. Not many darts players 100. do that. <laughs> uh, somebody going to get a Super Bell t-shirt for Christmas. Both these players now surely have the incentive to go for it. These next uh, couple of legs could be worth £1,500 extra in prize money for them. 
I see one. Well, steady if unspiff unspectacular darts from Birchall but uh, you've got to give him credit for the way wow. he's clawed his way back into this yes there'll be some pluses that he can take out of this match and he still might take the biggest plus Six of all and if he turns in ton 40 ton 80 here Birchall to win against the darts that would set him up and there's a lot of room in the bed as Goldilocks once said a good look getting his angles changing his geometry I think he might be going for a different target I see one Dave you require 120 141 from Askew the first leg of this deciding set well this would be pretty good too tops for Dave Askew 100. same Shanghai you require 120 would be against the throw and would be a very important wrong treble that's unlucky 105 now going so which way 13 surely should be his shot I see I you you ask you now to go within one leg of victory double ten well, are we going the distance are we heading for a tie break or can ask you Game finish on. it here again clean finish when it was necessary from Dave Askew but now Virtual wow. is trying to save the match and once again we look to David Askew to lift his game to hit the booster button to take him past the checkered flag all to the benefit of this man who has hung on in there after losing six of the first seven legs going two sets down and looking down and out but still very much in the contest what a time this would be to hit his first maximum of the match that is much more like the Dave Askew of old David Askew just finding that rich seam of form when it was really wow. necessary he's now just got to kick on 2-6-1 it's all but stolen the darts here needs the treble needs the treble 60 well the nerve ends jangling for both Askew and Birchall here You can hardly call 16. it top tungsten, but it's certainly been tense tungsten. And what happened with that dart? What did happen? It, it must have slipped. Let us be charitable. Tis the season to be charitable. Must have slipped. Sixty. Oh, well, we saw 141 from Dave Astor. He's left it again, and so too has his rival. We'll ask you hit 141 to take the first leg of this final set. It would be something extra special if he could repeat that here. That was an excellent last start. Which leaves him within two darts for finish, but Virtual could finish in two darts on 100. Treble 20, first target. Treble 20 for double 10. He's gone the other way again, and he's high again. Uh, it could be costly, because Askew now with a real chance of wrapping up the match. Double 16 for Dave Askew. Double 8. And Dave Askew for the first time in four years at the Circus Tavern reaches the second round far from his best given a real run for his money by the qualifier Martin Birchall but it's Askew 
against the giant killer caves in round two.